Okay, uh, this tutorial is going to be on how to uh, make pretty precise um, infographics um, using Photoshop. And we're just going to make basically a modified pie graph here with out of a circle or out of a donut. So initially what I want to do is I want to pull in some blue lines to find a center. And so it doesn't really make any difference where the center is. It just makes sure that we have a center point. So I'm going to go to view, make sure my rulers are on and they are. And so I can come over here to the uh, vertical ruler and drag one over to, let's just say, four inches. And I could come up here to the, the top horizontal one and pull a blue line down. Or um, just a little extra here for you is I can select the uh, vertical again, but I want a horizontal so I can hold the Alt key down and it automatically switches it to a horizontal um, grid line. So I'm going to go down to five and there's my center point. Now what I want to do is I want to make a, a new layer and I'm going to go to the elliptical marquee tool and start in the center and I want to make sure that I'm holding the um, control key, to, or I mean the shift key down um, that, that constrains the circle to a pure circle and alt will constrain it and draw from the center. So I really don't care how big it is right at the moment because I can resize it later but I'm just arbitrarily making it this big. And then what we can do is I can fill this and I can use either the paint bucket or alt backspace and that's going to fill with the foreground color. So I'm going to get a red Then I'm going to do it again, starting from the center, holding alt and shift down. And then I'm just going to hit delete. And now I have this little donut graphic that seems to be popular right now. So now what we want to do is we want to, um, let's say, section this off to, uh, let's say, 17%, um, something, something equals 17% that we want to show um, part of this pie graph. So I'm going to hold the, uh, or I'm going to click on the, my calculator, and I want to uh, take 17% or 0.17 and multiply it by 360 degrees, and so we find out how many degrees that we need, and it's 61.2 degrees that we um, that we want to have. So. Um, so what we want to do now is make a new layer and I'm going to change this to black and I'm going to draw a line, um, a straight line. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and draw it out here. So what I have is I have a hard um, brush. I could have probably made it smaller than that, but uh, that'll be okay for our, our purposes now. Then um, when we, since we have that on a separate layer, I can hit control T and um, what that's going to do for me is uh, give me a transform menu. And you notice up here that we have an angle. So uh, this, is, this is a little bit um, different or tricky uh, because um, it doesn't really uh, give you the angle that you maybe have thought you were going to need. So what I want is I want uh, 29 point, uh, what was it, uh, was 61.2 or so, so I think what we want is uh, 29.8 so that we come up with 90. So I'm going to 29.8 and that, um, it's basically 60 degrees, uh, it's measuring off of the horizontal instead of the vertical. So that's going to give us um, the 61 Point two, and now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this line goes right through the center. Now I don't care about this side, but I do care about this side. So this is my 61.2, and this is my um, 29.8. Um, so it that the menu is a little bit uh, misleading as to which which way the angle is going. So um, if I wanted to uh, do that, I'm going to Control Z that. And let's try that again. If I want to go the opposite way, I'm just going to put a negative 29.8, and it's going to turn it the opposite way. Okay, so that's, this is still only going to be a guideline for us. I'm going to put that in the center. And so we want to color this section, but it's probably going to be better for us if we make it on a new layer. So I'm going to make a new layer here. And now I'm going to use this as a template and then I'm going to cut into this. So what I want to do is hold control down, click
click on this thumbnail, that's going to select everything on that particular layer that I just selected. But I still really have um, this blank layer uh, selected. So I'm going to paint actually on this layer, but I use this as a selection. So I have this whole thing, but I don't want the whole thing. I only want 61.2 um, degrees of that. So now I'm going to take my polygon lasso tool and I'm going to choose the um, the intersect with selection uh, choice here instead of just typically we're on a new selection. This is one of the few times that I'm going to use an intersect with selection. So now I don't really care if I go beyond. I just want to make sure that I am cutting completely through this original shape. So because it's going to keep whatever is common to both shapes. So I'm going to come up here, click, 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 click come over to my guideline and notice it snaps there. That's one of the advantages of having a guideline. Click again and then close the shape. And now if you notice really closely that the only thing that was left is what was common to both selections. Now I can come over and I can make a new color. Let's say let's make it blue and I can fill alt backspace and then I can delete or turn off my line. And now this section right here is 61.2 uh, degrees, which is actually 17% of the entire um, circle. So hopefully that's helpful. Then we can do all different kinds of things. We could uh, merge these or we could uh, um, use a multiple select here by holding control down and we can link them together. And, so then we can move them around um, or we can control T and shrink it. But ultimately we still have 17% of that entire circle.